So one tool you should get really used to using when you're building a websites and web applications is this Lighthouse tab here. So if you're using Chrome, you can go over here and go to Lighthouse, and then you can run diagnostic reports over your website. For example, you can do a performance report, which is what I'm going to cover in this video, but there's also accessibility, which is also very important to make your website useful for people who have accessibility needs best practices and search engine optimization. We're going to focus on performance because someone called out my website and said, hey, your Lighthouse scores suck. And I went through my site and I looked through to try to figure out what's going on and I managed to fix it in like five minutes. So let's run this first without my fix and I'll show you how slow it kind of is. So I'm going to keep it as mobile and we will say analyze page load. And this is going to pretend like it's loading your application for the first time and it's going to give you a score based on how long it took to load images, text, fonts, uh, content layout shifts, stuff like that. So when I run this with Lighthouse, you'll see I get a 100% for everything. But there is another tool that you should probably use to check your sites because Lighthouse can only do so much. So let's go to PageSpeed Insights. So you go to pagespeed.web.dev and you can type in your URL here. So let's just go ahead and analyze our website using this and it's going to do something very similar to Lighthouse where it kind of checks your website for different metrics, how fast stuff takes to load. Now all of these terms have different meanings like time to first byte is how long did it take you to get your first byte from a response and 1.2 seconds that's kind of slow right. My first contentful paint took 2.2 seconds so overall like my web server and my app is taking a little bit of time to respond to send stuff back and also if you scroll down to performance you'll see that we have a lot of issues over here. It's taken 6.7 seconds for the first content full paint. The largest paint is seven seconds. So it's very, very slow. This website is pretty bad. Um, it's taking three full seconds for blocking. And if you scroll down, it gives you a breakdown of all the things you could potentially improve to make stuff run a little bit faster. Let me zoom in here. From what I can tell, there's like two that are taking up a lot of the execution time. There's reduced JavaScript execution time, if you look at this, you'll see that there's like a YouTube video, okay, which is taking up five seconds of evaluation time. Um, and then also down here, the main thread, this script is probably also related to that YouTube. So if I go back to my site, let's see if I can find this YouTube video it's talking about. So let's go over here. I'm going to go ahead and just refresh the page. And notice off the bat, it's doing like a ton of requests. If I go to network and do this again, it's making 42 requests of a bunch of different stuff. And the reason is because I have a embedded YouTube player using an iframe. Okay, so how can we fix this a better way so that we can improve the Lighthouse speed scores is to lazy load the iframe and show it to the users when they scroll down. And I'm going to show you how you can fix this. So right now the iframe is just shown right here. But instead what we could do is not even display this iframe and lazy load or inject it when a user scrolls down to this div. So what I did is I added an ID called video container here. And down at the bottom, I added an intersection observer to that div. So basically, when the DOM is fully loaded, I listen on a particular element. So over here, I say get element by ID, video container. And then if it's defined, I go ahead and just say observe this container. And what that allows you to do is you can pass some options to that observe function. And basically, when this scrolls into the user's view, you can then run some code. And so in my case, what I want to do is I want to basically check if the thing that I just scrolled into, if it's intersecting with my page, then I basically spin up an iframe and I add all the information directly into the iframe element and then I append it to the application. Now, this site is not using Next.js. This is using Hono, I believe, which is why I'm doing a lot of this lower level like intersection observer, but if you're using Next.js or React or Vue, I guarantee you there are libraries where you can basically just lazy load different things just by wrapping it inside of a component. Okay, so let's go ahead and commit this and get it deployed out and let's see how it improves Lighthouse scores. All right, so that change has been deployed out. Let's see how it improves our page speed insights. So again, we got a 30 for performance and uh, some other things are kind of low that I could probably improve, right? So let's just go ahead and rerun this. And notice now we have a performance of 92. And if you scroll down, you'll see that the list of issues is actually much smaller. In fact, it's almost like non-existing at this point. There's still a red one, which honestly, I don't know why this thing is causing issues. Like it's just text. But for some reason, it's taken 2.6 seconds to render out, right? It's still in the green, but it could be improved a little bit. Like it shouldn't take that long for some text to show up on a page. 
overall this is decent some people will actually put in the effort to like make this all be 100 which you probably should i just wouldn't like focus too hard on it like making everything perfect but a small little fix like that just lazy loading an iframe using this intersection observer like i talked about can really improve the performance of your website so i wanted to share that with you all i hope that's uh something new that you guys haven't learned before and try to apply it to your sites especially your landing pages if you happen to have videos or larger things that need to load as a user scrolls down uh, later, just so it doesn't block up how long it takes the page to render. All right, that's about it. Have a good day. Happy coding.